Hello and welcome back to what has been a rather long hiatus from the channel. Um, maybe a year, a year and a half I think it's been now. Um, but given that times are, are, are different now and, and you know things are very different on many different scales from local to global um, and in my little corner of the world I found myself with a lot more free time. Um, and so I've decided that I'm going to try restart this YouTube again um, and, and actually sort of put a lot more conceited effort into um, continuously uploading and, and, and uploading for more than two weeks before giving up and, and stopping again. Uh, you know, I've got a lot of free time at the moment and so it seems like the perfect opportunity. <laughs> um, so yes, and we are going to be starting with uh, one of the games I really rather enjoy, but I'm absolutely terrible at, and that is Bad North. Jotun, I, th I think it's Jotun Edition. But basically, it is a fairly minimalistic strategy game where you are either some Vikings or you're defending from Vikings trying to take over your island. And the best way to show it is to play it. You can see I haven't played this in a rather long time, so I thought it would be a fun time to, um, to start again. Um, we are going to go with Edmund with no traits because I don't. I want to start with no traits. I think that's that's only fair. And we are going to be playing on normal because I'm not very good at hard hard edition. <laughs> um, and normal is plenty hard enough. And so our two starting commanders are Edmund and Thea or Thea. I don't, I don't know quite how the pronunciation is, but we'll go with Thea. Um, here we go generating a new campaign. Um, I just love this art style. I love the sort of minimalistic yet still really sort of intimate and really detailed art style. Um, I realise minimalistic and detailed. What am I trying to say? Um, don't work together. I'm trying to say that it's a very beautiful, pretty game for what is in essence a rather small and rather minimalistic game. It's very pretty. So this is how it works. We don't even have time to really um, hang about here because we can make it go slower but we cannot pause in an island. But here we go. We'll pause for a little while. We are the guys on the island. We are the blue and orange guys. Um, we are just some sword lads at the moment and if you see over here coming in there's some more sword lads. We need to defeat them and we need to um, we need to hold these houses. These houses give us rewards, just coins, which can be used to upgrade um, our soldiers and give them items and, and give them more men and such. But for the most part, we just need to survive. And it starts off very, like most roguelikes, it starts off very simple and gets infinitely more complicated by the time you're done. Um, our troops can, if they wish to, heal in the houses, but I think we're okay for the time being. With the final wave incoming. Obviously, this is just the first island. Um, we just need to hope that our troops can survive here. I think they will. We'll just move these guys back. Um, if you say you had a troop here, right where this boat is, um, if once the boat lands, it actually damages the health of the soldiers standing there a bit. So I always put them. I always put my soldiers one back, um, so they don't have the health loss. Um, and so we are just going to be attacking here and then hopefully we should be able to win this fight without having to go heal. Very nice. So for these houses we get five coins. It's not going to be quite enough to upgrade um, but it should hopefully get us along the way. So we're going to press continue here and this is how it works. So it's a roguelike going between different islands. So that was Mullen Island and then it's one we of Shulmur. I'm very sorry if I mispronunciate any of these names because I'm very lucky to do so. Um, but I'm not very good at pronunciation. But I'll, I'll try my best to um, <laughs> I'll try my best to, to work on it. Um, but we will end our turn because all of our commanders have been used this turn, and we're going to be going to Hov Shulmur, which looks like we've got. Uh, yes, we do. So on here, on here we have only one way up, and that's via a hill. So this should be much easier to defend. Um, hopefully, all islands will be like this. Although somehow I doubt it. Most of the islands are likely to be a lot more complicated as time goes on. But for the time being, we're just going to attempt to hold Hovshamul. 
and we're going to um, see if we can defend against these traps here, which we should be able to, as they're just basic sword traps. Well, we're basic sword traps, um, but we are on a hill, so we have a distinct advantage, and we can always pull one of our, our cohorts, I think we'll call them, um, back to a house to replenish if so needed. Which you might need to do with the blue cohort after this, as they're getting a little weak. I think they'll be okay for now. We've only lost three of our troops so far. Is the benefit of being on the hill is that very you very much have the advantage. And once we get some pikemen, we'll really be able to hold the hill advantage very, very well. Um, and hopefully that, that will likely be one of my first upgrades, depending on what island comes next and what enemies I think are likely to turn up. Let's just actually switch these guys around so that Orange takes the brunt of the force. Put Orange get in there. Is that it? Good. So again, we get another we get another five coins. We're up to ten coins now. That was just some more basic lads, but I'm sure in time we're going to deal with some more um, much stronger units. Um, so there we go. We have taken on Hoven Hofshamur, and we have Brander, Bikinis, or Flaty as our next choices. Um, we're going to let it the we could go for Brandra, but it looks to be a very open map there. I'm probably going to go for Flaty, as most of it seems to be um, on a hill, so we could have the advantage there. But we've finally got some coins, so we can upgrade some people. We've got Edmund here, and we've got Taya. We can only upgrade one of them. I'm going to suggest we upgrade Edmund into infantry. Uh, this is from Shields, and therefore... They are able to um, block off archers, and I'm hoping, I'm thinking that maybe down here in Flaty, there might be um, some archers because there's a new troop type coming in here, and we don't know what it is. But one of the earlier troops is archers, so I thought that'd be a good place to start. And we're also getting a new commander here, um, so definitely the, the right place to go. We've got our two main cohorts, Edmund and Taya, and we've got a local commander of Varney. And if we manage to um, we manage to hold Flaty and Varney doesn't die, he will join us in our future endeavours and very excellent moustache and hair if I may say so, sir. Looking at this island, we have two entry points. One here and the much more open one here. So we'll probably have we'll probably have one troop here and then the other two round here. But we'll we'll see. I think we'll put Edmund over here is he's the mid, he's the um, he's the swords he's the swordsman with the shields, and these two chaps will have to hold the other bit of land. Okay, so we've got some archers coming in. This is precisely why I wanted um, some infantry. So Edmund's going to do a lot of running around while Varney and Taya hold the well Varney and Taya hold the, the land up top. Um, and because they've got shields, the arrow guys are basically um, really struggle against the guy with shields. However, if um, these guys didn't have shields, those arrows would actually start to start to hurt quite a bit. So we're going to head these guys around here. Basically, Edmund's going to have to do a lot of running today. <laughs> and um, Teo and Varney are here just to just to defend, really. Okay, so we'll. Yeah, that's fine. More archers we can hold. We can hold against them. Um, it may be that eventually we have to put Edmund into a house to heal, but for the time being, I think we can um, just allow them to take on the archers. Here we've got some sword lads coming in on the left. I think we can pull Edmund back upstairs now. And it looks like they'll be going this way, so we'll send Edmund over to help them. Uh, let's hope they go that way. They didn't go around that way. Wonderful. Okay, we need Varney to survive, really. Good. We'll be, we'll be sending you around here to help deal with them, hopefully. Hopefully this is the final wave we have to deal with. But I just love this art style, the spatter blood everywhere. It's such a, such an impressively simple, yet beautiful design for a game. I just find it very impressive and very beautiful to look at. And we've got seven coins here, which I mean thinks we'll be able to 
Um, I think that means we'll be able to upgrade both Varney and also um, Teo. So we'll be giving that a go. Ooh, not quite. We can only upgrade one of them. We're going to go for our next turn. Mm -hmm. So we can only... Um, we don't use the commanders once each turn. I must have just banged my knee against the table there. Sorry if you heard that. Um, but because we can only use them once each turn, we have to pick and choose where we're going for our for our soldiers. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to get a lump here. I think we're going to... Actually, we could we could get a lump. Um, we could get a fourth commander early on, which would be nice. Um, but for now, we're just going to upgrade. Um, Varney has quicker ability cooldowns. He might make a good archer. Because I, I like I like the archer cooldown, of the, of the archer ability. But I think first of all we want to make Taya into pikes. Because while pikes can't move around and aren't very versatile, if they can stay in one position and hold a hill point, especially something like a hill point, they really um, they really hold their their own very well. Um, and we'll make Varney into an archer at some point. Um, but we're going to go up to Brandur here. And we're going to try get up. Oh, this is a very impressive looking mountain here. We're going to try hold these houses down the bottom as well. Although it will be a little harder. We'll be having the pike coming up the hill as the last uh, the last resort as a as a way to return as a final point of retreat. But actually, I think we can bring them down to help deal with these infantrymen or these swordsmen which are coming in. Um, yeah, I think we'll do, and then we'll leave um, Edmund up here um, in case of in case we need him in a hurry. Um, but because it's only basic infantry men, I think we'll be okay to uh, to hold for the most part. Bring you here and you here. We'll let um, Varney get some experience in for when he becomes some archers. When he become when we upgrade him to to, to an archer um, civilization, archer civilization. What am I saying? An archer. An archer cohort. Um, we've got some more chaps coming in from different sides now, so we're going to have to start being a little more selective about where we go. Um, because the swordsmen can probably hold their own, we'll leave them by themselves, while the pikemen have the, the supporting cohort of the basic infantrymen. So we'll send you in. Please do not burn my house. That will give me coins, which I desperately need. That seems to be the final wave, and we'll bring Edmund over here um, as a backup as a backup cohort. Um, in fact, we'll switch Varney and Edmund around, I think, because Varney looks to be a little weak. And there we go. We have um, won at whatever this island was called. I've called it's called now. But we took out 25 of them, and we managed to get another six coins. And that was Brander, okay. We could go up to Lump here, and I think we're going to. But there seemed to be another um, another type of soldier there. If we had a look, it's another type of soldier which we haven't met yet. So that's going to be interesting to say the least. Um, it's going to be it's going to be interesting because they will have to go to Kalasoy next, I think. However, first of all, we're going to upgrade. We're going to turn Varney into some archers. Now archers are very much uh, archers are very good when they're flanking people or flanking uh, flanking an enemy cohort but from from up close they 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 they're all when they're when they're facing from a direct line they do struggle. Um, so we'll try hold all three houses here but it may be hard we may need to pull back to um, our main house here in Lump. And we've got a local commander here, Indur, who it will just be a basic infantry cohort. And so we'll we'll, we'll use him um, alongside um, Edmund here as uh, as another infantry. Um, yes, so we have shield lads here. This is going to be a lot more of a struggle. We're going to move our archers here and our pikemen here. Shields can't really get through pikemen that well, but the pikemen have to have an advantageous. Um, an advantageous spot like they do now where there's only one spot they can get in. Um, but the shield lads aren't too bad. But we do have some more shield lads coming in here. So 
So hopefully we can be pretty quick at killing these chaps. Okay, and we need to send the pikemen here. The pikemen are going to be very um, utilised in this battle to help try deal with the shield lads. The archers won't be able to do much against the shield men, um, but hopefully once, hopefully once those um, shield men turn to the side, the archers can actually do some good job there. As they just did, did just kill that person there. We'll send the archers round. Send the pikemen round. We were lucky we got these two. Sort of choke points that the infantry can work with rather well. Um, the archers get much more significantly, much more better, much more significant in the later stages once they're upgraded. They become much better at their, um, much better at their jobs really. Um, that being said, um, archers will be very good against these basic infantry lads as they don't have these shields, and we'll bring all our chaps down here to help deal with them. This should be a nice easy one, we should be able to hold all the different houses here. As you can see the archers will start to do some good work, and the pikemen should be able to finish them off, no problem. There we go. So we've now got another five coins, and we will have unlocked the icon for the new um, shield warriors. And we've gained Indra, who again has an excellent moustache. Maybe we should become the moustache warriors. <laughs> um, so we've gone to Lump. And when we, when we go to next turn, we'll need to go to probably, we'll go to Kalsoy and then down to Rock, because Rock has an item, and uh, items can be pretty useful actually. Um, we're going to turn, we can turn Indra into another infantryman, so we've got two infantry cohorts, and we have an archer cohort, and we have a... Uh, pike cohort. Um, although I'd probably like a second pike cohort, I feel that having two infantry lads is much more um, versatile, as they're much they're, they're much better against a lot of things. Um, this probably wasn't the best island to go to, actually, as it's only got the one house, but it is very defendable, so there's not really a chance of them um, getting through. We can have the archers pack up here, and we'll just have uh, Edmund and Indra here just um, hold the line as, as supporting cohorts of the pikemen and the archers can sit on their little perch and, uh, and attack and you know, see, see how they do. They're not going to be able to do a huge amount but as you can see we're able to poke them with our long sticks and they, they, they can't really get through which is very nice. We've got another group coming in from the same angle, we're just going to turn the camera here so we can see from a bit better see from a better angle and see really how we can um, improve. I mean something like this is a very simple line to work with. You just you just um, you just hold the hold the one um, choke point, the one entry point and they really can't get up. However later on there are some much some uh, much more tough units to deal with, they're very worrisome. I believe they throw axes, they really do, and they jump around. And so they really hurt the pikemen. When we get to that point, we're going to need to rethink our strategy. But hopefully, for the time being, we can do a, we can do a decent amount of work here. If nothing else, we'll be getting out to rock next um, to get our to get that item, whatever it might be. I'm not sure what it is. But hopefully, it'll prove to be a useful. Um, hopefully, it'll be a useful item that we can use on one of our cohorts. That's another three coins. So here at Rock we can have arrow or archers, shield lads, and also the basic infantry. So that's going to be that's going to be tougher. That's going to be uh, that's going to be a tough one to work through. We we might want to work down to here towards Gwilin, as there's another um, commander here. And once you get sort of four or eight commanders, you can start to really ramp up how many coins you get and how many islands you go to. Because at the moment we can only go to one island. Uh, per turn, and then the, the line moves forward per turn, and eventually, hopefully, we can get to the end and defeat the big boss. Although I've never managed to do it, so um, we're going to just um, keep trying. We do have seven coins, which I'm tempted to put into a skill. So um, this plunge, I think, jumping attack onto enemies below is not going to be our best friend. Um, you can do a pike charge, I don't think that's very yeah. useful. 
Bombarder location with the hail of arrows I think is useful, especially combined with Varney's cricket ability cooldowns, so we can start to hail, um, put down the hail of arrows um, very, very often. So I think that's going to be our next, um, that's going to be our, our strategy for this island. And what do we have here? We have one entry point, because this isn't an actual entry point. So we have one entry point here. We'll try hold this house, but we might have to. We might have to pull back, I think, and just hold these fire two islands. But hopefully, we can use some good strategy to actually hold these islands um, as best we can. So we'll send the pikes up as, um, as always, to the top of the hill to hold that area. If that will bring them down to here, we'll move our archers down. Nope. We'll move our archers up here to help deal with those guys. And we'll send Indra to help attack them as well. Uh, no one else is coming in just yet, although I imagine they will soon. But if we can try to deal with most of these guys. Hopefully Indra can, yeah, Indra can deal with most of them, that's good. Who's coming in next? We've got some standard infantry men, that's fine. I think the archers and Indra can handle that again. And we can see who's coming in next. I imagine it'll be some shield. No, no some bow. That's absolutely fine. Um, we was, we were a bit silly there, and we left the we left the boat to, to ram into Indra, but hopefully he's not too um, damaged from that. So we've got our archers providing covering fire while our infantrymen um, attack these archers um, to the ground. We've got some. Um, shield lads coming in so we're going to um, swap you and you round. Indra we're going to go replenish you in the house, it's the first time we've had to do that. Uh, but I think we want to we want to try hold this house here if we can. Um, we're going to have we deal with the shield lads. Yeah we did. We'll send everyone over here to deal with these archers. Send Taya back up the hill. Um, in fact, all the way so they don't get attacked by the archers. Um, there's some archers over here which we might have to deal with. Um, in fact, we're just going to have to gonna have to charge over these. And we can send you down here to deal with them. And we need to go deal with that archer before he causes our house to burn, which he hasn't. So that's another six, seven points. Good. We didn't even use the archer ability, so it really seems like we're, we're keeping on par for the time being. Um, but that could very easily change um, very, very soon. This, from the experience I have this game, it can very easily change for the better or worse very, very quickly. And we seem to have unlocked a warhammer. I don't know what the warhammer does. A heavy hammer used to clean a large group of foes. I'm going to give that to Edmund, I think. I also think it could be use that could be useful for, for, for dealing with either large group of shield men or, or maybe the berserkers which come later, which I know are going to be a real pain for us. Uh. Uh, we've got another seven coins, but I think I'll save them for for, for, for to veteran, veteran one of our cohorts. Just making them stronger, have a few more men, and uh, actually I don't think they get more men. But they do get stronger and much more better at um, dealing with, with, with tougher soldiers. Um, so we're going to go to... I think we're going to go to um, Hump here. And then we're going to go down to Seal Car if we've got time. But not, if not, we'll head straight to Gwilym and try to get that additional commander. Um, just having a, a fifth commander in case one dies will be very, very useful indeed. So we've got one... House up on the hill. This is a very lone tree up on this um, stone pillar here. We'll try and hold the lower houses as, al as always. We've just got archers and basic lads, so I think it shouldn't be too much of a worry. However, we can always pull back up the hill uh, if it's needed. And we'll send the uh, we'll send the archers up the hill as well. In fact, we'll just swap those two around, and the two infantry can stay down here to deal with any archers or basic lads that come in. Um, so I think we'll be able to deal with this not too badly. 
yeah, they're gonna snipe them and we're gonna hopefully be able to take out any archers which come in as well. Let's have some archers coming in behind, so we'll send Indra down here to deal with them. As well as Edmund around the long way. Um, just to ensure that there's no there's no way that they can get through to our more vulnerable troops up here, the pikemen and the archers. Okay, so we're going to send you in, and we'll send you in, and that should be a massacre, there shouldn't be any chance of the archers surviving that, which they didn't. We've got some more archers coming in here, we just need to pull you back, and pull you back to here. Put the archers up here to hopefully get a few, uh, a few shots in. There we go, they've got two good kills there, so the, the archers are very good against the non-shield lads, but against the shield lads they really do struggle. Please send this on my house, thank you very much. And we've got some more archers coming in here, so we'll send Indra around here. And we'll send Edmund around a long way. Oh, he's going to go through that way. We'll send Edmund to go deal with... Um, go deal with them, so they're being flanked from two different sides. Uh, being flanked from two different sides, it means that they're unlikely to be able to... Unlikely to be able to um, beat against this, really. Send the archers around here to get a few shots in against this uh, very large cohort of of infantrymen coming in and we'll give Taya a bit of a run um, at, um, at killing something although I think maybe I'm going to send him I've sent him the wrong way so we'll send oh has, oh no I've sent, I've, sent him, I've sent him the wrong way twice so we'll send Taya around there to help hope flee poke them into oblivion while our archers uh, just provide some kind of fire from the top and there we go that is um, that's the island dance, that's another six coins. And that's um, about 34 men killed. That's not bad at all. I'm just going to continue. So that's that's hub uh, completed. Uh, as you see, the island's starting to get a bit more complicated here with Bardsey really starting to um, really starting to be a much bigger island. So that's going to be something we're going to struggle with. And we have to go through Bardsey as there's no other... Um, there's no other island that we can go through to get uh, to guess Holmer, which also has an item. Um, but we're going to upgrade Edmund here um, into veteran infantry. Just gives him a bit more uh, power and a bit more fighting prowess against some of the tougher units. And he will be our, our, our lead cohort. And the other ones will simply be more of a sort of more of a supporting force. So we're going to go to Gwilin here, which seems to only be only seems to be archers from knowledge so I think actually Taya here can take a take a rest and we'll bring in Inder as well as the local commander of this island of Gwilin um, of Eldred um, I just I love the sort of Anglo-Saxon sort of name it's just such, it's just such a pretty art style and I have such a fascination with that part of history anyway so I think it's really really is very fun <laughs> and a, a game Grant I've only played six hours off, but I just I just really enjoy it to be honest. <laughs> so we'll send Edmund here. Um no, we'll send Edmund down here, please. We'll send Inder to be the um guys who just hold the top. So we'll send Inder down to support. Eldred can hold the Eldred can hold the hill and the archers can pull forward, push forward, um, to help provide some support and fire from a distance. Where's the next lot of people coming in? We'll send you here, and we'll send you... We'll keep you there, and we'll keep the archers... We'll move the archers to here, so they should be able to shoot both of them pretty um, pretty well. Um, but as you can see here, Edmund has got much more of a glistening army now. <laughs> this guy's got an upgrade, and he's much stronger. He's, I don't know, he's got iron on his shield or something similar to that. And so um, we, can, we, we can deal with them pretty well. In fact, probably we could have just sent one. <laughs> we could have just sent Edmund here by himself to deal with the archers, uh, but I don't want to take that chance and lose our our, our most significant um, cohort yet. I think that would be, I think that would be a mistake to to, to try and um, accomplish that. We need the archers here just to provide a bit of fire if they can. Um, sometimes they're not very good at shooting things, but uh, occasionally they can. Occasionally they provide a decent amount of, of uh, covering fire. We'll move um, Eldred back here. He's, he's not going to take much part in this battle. Uh, we'll probably make him into a, a, a second pipe cohort um, as soon as as soon as we can. 
just because to have two fights to hold the hills and then some infantry or some archers to move them in as well. And here we go, that's another five coins. That's another 20. Um, that was a very easy um, island, it was just archers, and archers are very easy to counter with shields. Um, so, as you can see now, we have a fifth commander, we have Eldred. If we wanted to, we could go with, with Teo at another island, which is why he's not greyed out. Um, however, having one pike unit by himself trying to take on the whole island, I think, would be um, a risk I don't, I don't want to take. So the game's prompted me that I can do that, but I think I will just leave them, um, leave them there. So Eldred has collect the collector trait, as you can see here. Half price on items, um, so presumably, okay. presumably someone with Edmund, you know, if he wants to upgrade his Warhammer, it requires eight coins. Presumably oh. for Eldred, it would be um, four coins. Um, but we're going to make Eldred into a second pike unit, just so we have the versatility of two un two infantry, two pikes, and also uh, a marching cohort here with Volmy. And we can go into Bardsey here. I think that'll be the last island before we call it there, and then we'll um, rejoin Bad North uh, again very soon, I think. Uh, we are going to... this is going to be a tough one, so I think we've got infant, we've got shield lads and we've got archer lads, so I think... I think we will take... Uh, no, we'll keep, we'll keep Varney. I think we will take Eldred out and we'll put Teir in, because Teir's been our, one of our guys since the beginning, I think. He's the, the, the he's the senior... He's a senior pike force. Um, so I think it's only fair that he, he comes along. So we'll put the archers here, put the pikemen here, and we'll put the two infantry nearby. So they can rush down and hurry to wherever they need to go. Our first enemies are going to be coming from here and they're archer lads, that's absolutely fine. We'll send these guys down here, and these chaps here. And they shouldn't be able to get through at all. Which will just move them back one so we don't get uh, attacked by the boats. And we should be able to uh, we should be able to have a, a fairly easy fight there. Some more guys coming in up there who are also archers. Um, can't quite reach these guys from here, so we'll have to turn the camera around. So we need to deal with them. And we're gonna send you here. Then we're going to have to send you around the long way, I think. And hopefully these archers can start to um, do some damage. We'll send Indra in here, and as soon as Edwin lands, we'll send him in to fight the others. Very nice. We've got some shield guys coming in over here. So we'll send Taya down here to deal with them. He should be able to hold them. He should be able to cause an upset by himself. And hopefully the archers will be able to do a bit of damage, although against the shield, the shield men, they're not very good. We need to send um, both of the... that's a very large group of... Um, it's a very large group of shield men, so we need to deal with these shields very quickly. Come on. And then we need to get you over here pronto. And we're going to send you two up here as a welcoming party. That's not even the final wave. This could get very interesting. Could get very interesting indeed. Uh, we're struggling a little here. Indra needs to get inside the house quickly. And we've got some arf some archery men. Some or some archers, as I believe they're guild, not archery men. And hopefully Edmund with his very depleted cohort here, but hopefully as um oh this is gonna be tough actually this is gonna be a tough one if we can if we don't lose we need to not lose Edmund here come on come on Edmund oh Edmund lost the authority of his of his cohort but Edmund survived as long as the the big sort of commander guy in the middle survives uh, that means that your your cohort survives and will fight another day.
but that was definitely a little tougher, probably because I wasn't playing very well. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully we can stop that happening <laughs> again um, soon. Um, so I think that's going to leave that there for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and really do take care. Thank you so much, and I'll see you around. Bye bye.